good evening everybody uh, people are just joining in so i'm just uh, waiting for most of them to join in so just give a couple of seconds till they join in and i get that most of them have joined in through yeah okay just give me a few more seconds more we're just waiting for a few more participants to join in because i was told that nearly 40 eight registrations were there and only uh, 30 people have joined in so i'm just waiting yeah so anyway in the meantime i think uh, we can start so uh, good evening everybody hope uh, all of you are enjoying your uh, lockdown being with your families or uh, friends or your close ones yeah so welcome to uh, rise and shine uh, rise and shine's uh, today's event so uh, and uh, this is my third presentation so uh, i hope most of them uh, would be knowing me so for those who don't require my introduction it's fine otherwise uh, those who have newly means those who are seeing me or hearing me for the first time my name is jim george and i am the manager global marketing office and i oversee six us institutions so uh, as you can see uh, on the screen for today's topic so today's topic is more about uh, we would be learning about the importance of time and how that can be managed in the most efficient and productive um, way during our work time as well as our personal time so this will be more about uh, only concentrating on what exactly a uh, time management is so um what i'll be covering today in uh, today's topic it will be uh, it will start out with a short story so i'll be telling a, a small story on the importance of time and then it will be followed up by a small uh, challenge to all our attendees then we will uh, we will be covering uh, what exactly time management is and why all of us need to manage time and also will be uh, touching base on how can we use time effectively and what are the process involved in managing the art of time and management then it will be followed by a few quotes by some important people on uh, using time wisely and a few uh, odd situations when we fall in when we don't manage our time properly so this is what would be uh, uh, today's covering in the uh, presentation so uh, i would like to start out by saying that um, no one including me uh, is not perfect in time management and this is all a learning curve for all of us who's joined us uh, today so uh, this will be a learning curve on how uh, how uh, we can actually manage time and get uh, yield uh, good outcomes from uh, the things that we would be going through today so uh, have you ever imagined uh, how a ceo of a group of a company or uh, politicians like presidents or prime ministers or chief ministers how they are able to manage their time in catering to looking into for example if you take ceos how they can uh, manage the whole team they can look into market trends they can do their day to day activities or how politicians uh, like a president a prime minister a chief minister how they can oversee all the operations and ensure that that particular country or whatever jurisdiction is there under them how they are able to manage it so uh, there was a study that was done and what uh, was revealed was that what work a ceo or a politician or those people who manage big big things uh, what they do in one day we as common people are not able to do it in months time or even years time so now i will leave it up to you people to think what exactly is the difference between them and us and how they are able to do so much work in so much time so i will start out uh, with a short story uh, uh, just telling the importance of time and uh, this story i would like to start it in the traditional way so i would start by telling like a long long uh, time ago in a kingdom there lived a king and a lazy man and they were uh, very close friends so one day uh, in the morning uh, the king met this uh, friend the lazy friend and the king asked him so why don't you work and why don't you make money so then uh, the uh, lazy man told that uh, he is already well known among all his people and his enemies go and tell that wherever he tries to go and work they tell that he doesn't do things on time and that's why he doesn't get a job he tells that 
So then the king, the kind king thought, okay, fine. Um, he's my good friend. So let me help him. And he told that you can go to my treasury and collect as much as uh, you, uh, gold and gems you can. And, but he gave a small condition that uh, you have to do that before today's sunset. So he gave this time. So this man was so happy, overjoyed, overweened. He ran to his house, went and told his wife, um, uh, see, the king has offered me this and I'm going to uh, get it. So his wife told, okay, fine, don't think of anything further. Take your bags, go and collect the gold uh, coins and gems and come fast. But then he told, no, I will not go now. I want my lunch first. I'll have my lunch and go. So then this uh, lazy man had a big, uh, what you tell, he had a heavy lunch and then uh, uh, he felt sleepy. And so he told that only after my one hour's nap, I will go. So then he slept for one hour and then his wife came and hit him and woke, woke him up and told, come on, it's, it's, it's so late. You have to go and uh, get it. Go and run. So this man collected his bag to collect the gold coins and he's kick-started his journey towards the palace. So it was, uh, uh, at that time, it had already become um, a late uh, afternoon and then he, while he was walking, it was very hot. So then he told, uh, thought that, okay, fine, he saw a tree nearby and he told that, okay, let me take some rest there. And then he went to take rest and he slept off over there. So he slept off and he slept for nearly four hours because no one was there to wake him up. And then of a sudden, uh, they, uh, what do you tell, he woke up at a stretch and then uh, again started running towards the palace. So by the time he reached the palace, it was already sunset and the gates had closed and he lost his opportunity. So that uh, so he lost that uh, great golden opportunity because he did not learn the value of time. So this is just a small model of the story, what exactly we all will be going through in our daily lives is that time is actually a gift and we need to use it wisely and we shouldn't waste it. So this is a small story that I wanted to discuss. Now coming, uh, there's a small challenge for all of you. I want you to not look into the net or not look into any other references, but I want you all to just type, type in on the chat box that what exactly do you feel is the definition of time management? Can you just tell uh, in your own words, just type in and see, let me just see how many of you will answer this on your chat. So I'll be just waiting for uh, two minutes and just see what exactly are your references or definitions to what exactly chat is, uh, time management is. So I hope everyone is uh, able to hear me. Okay, so I see that uh, I'm getting answers. So Ghalib tells that doing the right thing at the right time in is time management to me. That's a good answer. So let's see who else is there. So MSM, I think it's Dolly. I don't know who is it. So it tells priorities. Um, then I see Monica telling that managing your time efficiently. Then Sandeep tells managing daily activities effectively, both personally and professionally. Good. Neelam tells if a person is able to finish off the work in time without affecting other works. Good. Pre-planned Rahul. Um, then um, Niyati tells planning and executing it within the time frame. Great. Kavita tells, I'm just missing out. So there are a lot of people telling. So I won't be able to read everyone. Kavita tells that uh, completing task in given time, time management is planning your activities by Manveer. Uh, Ranjita tells time management is utilization of time of to get the best result. Okay. Time management is Monica Chopra tells time management is basically doing your work task in time. So I think most of you do know, uh, uh, apologize for those who have written and I have missed uh, telling because I think most of them have written it. So uh, most of them already know what exactly uh, time management is. So I will be just going through a few points that um, we, uh, what I would request is that after this particular session, I'll be sharing this particular presentation across to all of you and we can just try it on small small things it's just a small challenge i'm giving a personal challenge across to everyone even i will be doing that so what exactly it is is that we'll take a small task or small event and then we will try to look in uh, how we can manage time and accomplish that particular task and then what is that relief what is that feeling what is that um, um, that effect that comes uh, in that we do it in a normal way and when we do it with 
looking into some tools and some um, uh, attributes that I'll be mentioning about this uh, time management. So I'm just going to the next slide. Yeah. So what is time management is basically uh, time management refers to managing time effectively so that the time right time is allocated to the right activities. So we can uh, define time management in different ways like uh, time management is an art. It is arranging, organizing or budgeting time for the purpose of accomplishing something within time. Also, we can tell that time management is having control over the amount of time spent on a particular activity. And hence, we can conclude by telling that time management helps an individual to be more organized and more productive. So these are the core things that what you can see that um, uh, when I mentioned about uh, how a CEO or a politician uh, who is managing a big group, how, how are they able to do that and why we are not able to do that is simple because they are able uh, as individuals, they are able to be more organized and henceforth that is bringing them productivity. So um, why do we need actually, why do we need time management? Now, um, uh, always that this will come to everyone's mind that why is time management important? So, of course, the first point clearly mentions that uh, time management is required to save time. Now, what happens is, is in our daily lives, we've got 24 hours uh, and out of that, we may sleep between eight to uh, uh, six to eight to 10 hours, maybe, especially in this lockdown, maybe it is uh, lockdown, it may be more. So then we've got the balance time. But yet what we see is that since we are not able to keep a tab on what exactly or how exactly we are spending the time, we uh, tend to basically come to a conclusion that uh, time is very less for whatever activities we are doing. So uh, people tell like, for example, they don't have time to eat food. People tell they don't have time to do exercise. People tell that they don't have time to work. People tell that they have overwhelmed work. So then we can, we can uh, this is a common cause that uh, everyone tells that when we um, are not doing time management properly, then uh, we don't have time. And that's why it is very necessary that if we can follow this time management tools and tips that will be coming in the upcoming slides, we can save time. And uh, the, the next point is also another example uh, wherein a particular task is given to anyone and then uh, it is human tendency that we go in to do it in the nth hour. And once we uh, start doing it in the nth hour, then we can see that our blood pressures are increasing, our stress, stress levels are increasing, we don't know what to do. So this can help in reducing the stress. And then, of course, um, uh, to function effectively, what happens is that um, we, because of uh, uh, postponing, as I told in the story, uh, we postpone, we tend to postpone things and keep it in the last moment. And then we may have a lot of ideas. We may have a lot of um, uh, productive uh, thinking that we would be able to do it if we had done it in a good, uh, uh, if we had planned it according to a good uh, timing to complete that task. But when we end up doing it in the last minute, then we won't be able to get these ideas function properly. Then also uh, the output, the result that is coming out may not be um, uh, what is being expected from the management. And then also uh, this will um, reduce the control over what exactly your job uh, responsibilities are. So it is very important with these points, we can easily understand that wh why it is very necessary that we need to have uh, time management for whatever projects, tasks. It, it is applicable in every stage of your life. If it is professional, if it is personal, or if it is uh, anything like for example you take sportsmen they they need to manage their time in practicing their art uh, exercising then of course they require a lot of time in um, the mental uh, thing that is uh, we if you see if you follow a lot of sports people you can see that they do their practices uh, uh, most of the time and just a day before they are going to play they don't uh, do practice but they just stay stable so that their particular mind is synchronized to that pure aim of winning the game and their mental strength is increased because already they have their physical strength so this is why we require uh, time management 
So now, how to use time effectively is also a few points that I would like to mention here. And then I would go in details with all this once um, we get into the different tools. So we have to do an effective planning. Of, uh, that's why I told that let's take it as a challenge and let, let's take a small uh, goal that we would like to accomplish. It can be any professional, personal or whatever goal it is. And then we can just try to do it in this way and then we can see that joy once we have done it, how easy and how effective it will be. So we can go through uh, we, uh, what, uh, how to use the time effect, uh, effectively is that you have to do an effective planning then you have to set goals and objectives then you have to set deadlines then you have to the other three points are the most important points especially for managers it is very very important because um, uh, it is very important to know about your subordinates and delegate uh, responsibilities according to what capabilities they have and then it is also important to prior uh, prioritize activities as for the importance like um, there may be three tasks in front of you but you would be lacking something good but uh, the management requires something else so it is very important that we prioritize our activities which uh, have maximum importance and uh, achieve that goal uh, and later on do the other goals and also it is very uh, uh, apt for spending the right time on the right activity so what happens is that um, if you've got uh, if there is uh, a presentation that has to be done or a report that has to be submitted it is uh, you, if the contents are more important you have to spend more time on the content if it's an overall thing then equal um, uh, what you tell uh, priority has to be given to uh, the right activities so this is how uh, we can uh, actually use uh, time effectively <clears throat> Now coming to this process, this is the most important thing that I would like to share and that is the process of uh, time management, how it starts with. So um, I have uh, uh, put it into six different points and uh, we can all practice this, we can see this and I'm sure that that would yield into uh, accomplishment of maybe even difficult tasks or those tasks that you feel were not possible from your end, it, it can help in accomplishing these type of tasks. So one is about costing your time. Uh, I'll be going in detail with these slides, then making activity logs, goal settings, uh, plannings, priorities, scheduling. So these are the things. So coming to costing your time, I know this will be a little hard on uh, the attendees, but yet it is very effective. So what is it is, uh, we have to cost time. We have to actually see, like for example, if I am getting um, X salary per month, and then I have been asked to, means uh, for six days I need to work, and I need to work for eight hours, then we can calculate how much uh, exactly per hour is a company is paying. Now let's take, for example, MSM. So then MSM is paying X amount of money for an hour for me. So then uh, if you go into that costing part of your time, you can uh, uh, see an equa equation between how much is the uh, time that you are, uh, uh, how much is the salary that you're getting per hour and how much productivity you're showing to the company per hour. So once you can weigh this particular cost of the time, then you will know exactly where you're standing and then where you can improve yourself. So this usually no one comes uh, thinks about much, but then when if you start thinking on these particular terms, then uh, automatically what helps is that you become more productive, you become more um, uh, goal driven when you're on work, whatever time you're working on. Now coming to the next point is about uh, making activity logs. This is also very important, especially um, um, uh, why it is important is that we, this is the little self-assessment that we have to do for ourselves. Like for example, now I find that uh, I am most productive in the morning hours. So then it is very important that we find out what would be the high yielding time for a particular task that is given. And then you uh, spend more time on the important tasks on that particular timing. And then uh, also you need to pinpoint little critical areas where uh, you, you may require only little time or um, uh, little uh, uh, thinking thought process needed and that you can use on non-productive times like for example you had a heavy lunch or you had uh, you did continuous work and then you want to take a small uh, 
uh, leap time in which um, uh, where you can do low value jobs and it is also very important that um, you make a realistic estimate of the time spend during the day on the task for that particular day so um, uh, like for example this also comes in the planning part which i'm going to come uh, uh, to the next slides so then it is important that uh, we uh, once we have a task in our hand then we need to measure it and then uh, get into a realistic estimate on how much we can do it on a daily basis so then this is another important thing that comes into play while uh, uh, it's an important tool in the time management. So that is about goal setting. Now, this is not limited to only professional life. It is also, uh, it can easily be um, applicable in your personal life, in your professional life, in your, uh, in terms of health, in terms of money, in terms investment, basically, I mean, and then in terms of um, relationship, in terms of, um, um, CSR, uh, community service, or whatever it is, we can actually uh, set a lot of goals. And this is very important that we set long-time goals. Uh, maybe it can be for a month, for a year, for 10 years, or five years, or whatever it is. And then uh, these goals have to be broken down into smaller goals. And then uh, we have to come in into a conclusion wherein we can do a daily to-do list to achieve that particular goal. So I will just try to uh, tell a small example of mine that uh, a year before I was very uh, heavy, it means I was uh, above 115 kgs and then now I was able to bring it to uh, below hundreds, uh, nearly 90s. Uh, and this was only uh, because I had this long time goal and then it took nearly one and a half years for me to do it. But then uh, I brought it down to monthly goals and then brought it down to daily goals. It's very difficult for us to uh, change our normal habit to a different way. So it was uh, this small small breaking of these goals helped me to achieve my end goal. So it is very important that if you have got any tasks, let it be, for example, investments, or let it be in terms of your health or your career or your, um, um, whichever is your prioritized goals, we can set it up and then uh, bring it uh, into a daily basis and then take it down. And then uh, we can evaluate ourselves. Like, for example, we keep a checklist on after one month, my target, for example, if I'm talking about my weight, I wanted to reduce one kg in one month. And then the next month, I wanted to reduce two kgs because I have already got used to that habit. And then it goes like that, like that, and like that. And then in the 10th month, my target was to reduce four kgs in a month. And then when it became 15 months, I wanted to reduce maybe five kgs. So it is. It is very important that we set goals and we break it down into smaller goals and make a daily to-do list so that you can um, see what is the progress and what exactly and where exactly you want to reach that particular goal. And then coming to planning. So planning is also uh, important because, um, but always planning without execution is nothing but dilution. So we have to ensure that whatever we're planning, we have to um, execute that also so we draw an action plan on uh, let's talk about a task that has been given you have to achieve an x task and then uh, to achieve that uh, you may require a lot of team members to achieve that you may require a lot of uh, research you to achieve that you may require a lot of uh, tools that you need to learn so then you plan it across in such a way that you acquire all that necessary points that are needed and then you make an action plan wherein you set your goal telling that my task will get over within uh, five days and this is my action plan and that's how i can complete it so this is also very important and is an important tool playing for the time management and then this is one thing that um, uh, a lot of us do tend to do and that is prioritizing things so then uh, it is very helpful that if we can do it on a daily basis like um, it is always told that if you are uh, if you're able to make a to-do list for that day that I will complete in this time to this time I need to complete this particular task this time to this time I need to complete this particular task so then uh, we are finite on and we know exactly what has to be done in what time and automatically the result will be that that particular task has been completed 
uh, even without our knowledge. Otherwise, if we had not kept a track on that particular timing that we had set and that task that we had set for that particular timing, then that gets postponed. We get a lot of other things that come in and then uh, we will miss this out maybe or we may get higher uh, priority tasks later on and then we miss this out. So this is very important that we prioritize and we uh, make a to-do list and then we consider the value of that task before we do it. And then we uh, prioritize that task uh, on the importance and uh, complete the, the tasks that are more important by scheduling it on a daily basis. And then it comes to the next point of scheduling. So now uh, scheduling is also very important. I think uh, most of you would be doing like, for example, if you're scheduling, uh, it is very important that uh, we schedule for, uh, at this time. It is more about webinars or any um, uh, agent uh, trainings or any uh, student trainings through the social media platform. So uh, whichever task is there, we need to schedule it in such a way that we complete the task on time. So it is uh, very important that we make a realistic estimate on how much um, we can do. And then we plan it to make the best use of the available time and preserve also keep in mind that if a particular uh, task is given, then we schedule it in such a way that uh, we complete it at least uh, one day before the deadline. And then we keep a contingency time so that there may be some additions or there may be some things that we have missed out or there may be some unexpected things that come up. So then we can add that and we can utilize that time to complete a particular task. And also, as I told in the initial slides, it minimizes our stress and we are clear, crystal clear on what exactly and when exactly our tasks have to be completed. Yeah. So now uh, once we follow all this, and that's why I uh, would again like to repeat on what I had told before, that we can try this out on a very small, normal uh, task of, a day to day thing or any small thing and then we can see that uh, that joy that we get once we achieve a particular goal and that is not constrained to just getting that goal but we also have to judge our, our own self and then we have to that will be our own motivator like for example i finished a task i'm very happy of that so i need to understand i need to judge where i can improvise myself where i can um, uh, increase my inputs, I can increase my productivity and then I judge myself in such a way that okay fine when I'm doing a similar task next time I can uh, better my things in these ways and also I need to motivate myself in telling that um, yes I have a, I was able to achieve this particular task and next time I can do it much better so this actually it becomes a, you become your own judge and your own motivator and this makes time management uh, this is what uh, I was talking about these uh, politicians and these big CEOs so that time management is their tool for their success and their productivity yeah so then uh, here are a few um, um, sayings uh, by some uh, prominent people like William Shakespeare or William Penn. So I've just uh, uh, structured it in such a way that you it will go through all the importance of time. So it starts out by telling by William Penn that time is what we want most, but we what we use worst. So this is uh, he is basically mentioning that this is one thing that we want the most, but we don't use it at all. And then we have got another saying, uh, another quote where it tells that the common man is not concerned about the passage of time, but the man who's talented is driven by it. And then uh, Stephen R. Covey says that the key is not, uh, is not spending time, but investing it. And then, of course, William Shakespeare uh, concludes by saying that make use of time, let uh, not advantage slip out. And this is a few sayings uh, about the importance of time. Now coming to the situations. Now uh, there are a lot of situations where uh, we are not able to manage time and then we end up um, becoming very odd. So here are a few pictures that uh, uh, illustrates what exactly we will go through in case if we are not managing our time. So once we are not managing our time, a lot of tasks come and fall onto our head and then we feel very overloaded. Then we always feel that time is never ending and I am completely stuck with whatever work is there. Then we mess up with uh, time with our daily schedules like you will not be able to eat food, you will not be able to do your regular exercises or anything that you're doing and then you end up um, 
uh, over straining stressing so these are a few pictures that just give a small uh, idea of what exactly we would be going through yeah so th with this i would like to um, uh, conclude uh, by just telling that we can keep smiling and uh, we can try it out so let's hear from a few people what uh, exactly they feel about um, this particular presentation and how what particular uh, tasks or what particular goals they'll be setting as a challenge so that we can just look into and how better it can come through so uh, is there anyone who would like to start out with or should i pick someone from the list uh, Jim, I think Vipul has raised his hand and I have given him access to speak. Yeah. So, Vipul, can you tell? I think he must have raised it before. No. I, he's on mute. So, I'll pick someone so that they can tell. That's better. Uh, Monica, would you like to tell? Yes. Uh, so, uh, Jim, as um, uh, starting with that, it is my first job uh, as a working from home. My prior experience is totally uh, traditional going to office and, you know, doing my work in a set of environment where you, uh, you know, you, you work efficiently so this session is helping me out i mean they will definitely help me out how i can work from home taking care of the you know the work professional front as well as my personal uh, life so so th that way I, I have made a couple of uh, you know pointers for myself how to utilize my time for my work as well as for my personal life so uh, I had given out a challenge to you. So what, what would be your particular task that you will try to do after I share this particular presentation and try to use it and accomplish it? That yes, the, the best point, I mean, as you said that, uh, um, you know, segregate your time that this is the time which is, uh, which is the more, most yielding time for of the day for you. So as I see that the afternoon, uh, I mean, from 11 to 2.30 is the time for me, which I can use perfectly to, you know, concentrate whatever I'm doing. So I, I'll, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll give uh, certain tasks to myself that, yes, every important work has to be done by during this time so that I have uh, time in the evening to review it. In case any anybody uh, tells me, okay, this is not the way you have done it. You just need to make certain modifications or the errors which I I myself recognize. Ki, oh, ye galti maine kar di hai. Okay, done. So you are telling that uh, between uh, eleven thirty to two thirty or whatever it is, that would that is your most productive time, and you would like to use maximum of that in that time. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So then uh, let's hear from Parvinder. I think she's uh, raised her hand. You would like to talk, Parvinder? Um, hello. Is my voice audible to you? Yes, yes. Okay. So um, as Monica was even sharing and what I have learned through this presentation is that uh, as segregating the task, but uh, what I've, uh, as per my point, what I think is that if we have like 10 tasks on our plate, so we can also sort out the tasks and see that what is the first easy step and like first easy task. So we do finish it first and the once it is done, so we can move it to the next task because that also helps in managing uh, the time also and the task also because sometimes we are always stuck in the uh, the difficult one. Like for example, if we are uh, chasing someone for anything and uh, we are contacting that person, but that person is not reachable. But then we, yes, we, we do know that we need to, right? We can get it. We need to sort it out. Uh, but that is taking time. So instead of uh, focusing on that task, first we can do what we have in our hand by sorting out that first and then move to the next one. So uh, of course we can always uh, sort out and see what's uh, the easiest and what is the first we can get it do if we have 10 tasks on our plate. Yeah, sure. Good. Yeah. Anybody else would like to add on or can I pick someone just to know? Uh, Emmanuel, can you tell? Okay. 
Dolly, can you give a manual access? Yeah. He is not, I think because he's in Nigeria, he's not able to. Connectivity problem is there. So anybody else would voluntarily like to uh, talk uh, about what particular challenge they would like to take up and then um, we can just, you can see your own result. There's no one to tell about, but you can see your own change in results in that. So is there anybody else who would like to raise their hand and talk out? I see. So can I pick someone? Sandeep, would you like to talk? Sandeep. Yes. So is, is, is it audible right now? Yeah, it's audible. Perfect. So as uh, one of your slides uh, says by uh, Stephen R. Cove, Cove yeah. or Covey. So time is an investment. So investing at the right time gets the best out of it. <clears throat> so this is what I could make out uh, at this moment. Okay, so now uh, what challenge would you take up? That is, uh, you want to do some particular task. It can be a personal goal or a professional goal. And uh, which one would you like to just tell something that you feel out of your mind that you would like to take up? Yes, in, in, in concerns with uh, professional and personal, yes, I'm the same. Uh, so uh, right now the target is to put off my weight. So I'm nearly 110 kilos. Yeah, and uh, so I'm, I'm just making most out of it, waking up early, and uh, so before I was not at all an uh, early morning man. But yes, now these days I'm trying to wake up by five, five thirty, and put myself with some activities going around. And uh, number two, and yesterday uh, we, uh, me, Zadna, and we need we had a couple of uh, challenges that were discussed in terms of application. So yeah, I segregated with how to escalate myself, when to talk to agents at the most. So talking to them, anything in between 11 to 12.30, 1 o'clock and uh, 3.30 to 6.30, 7 o'clock is the right time. And that's what yesterday and today I've been uh, focused to do with. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I think um, uh, we are done with the presentation. I hope it is, um, it was, uh, there was some sort of a motivating and learning factor that we could we can all try to practice and this would be an eye opener in terms of your personal as well as your professional life so i hope all of you enjoyed this particular presentation so happy weekend and we'll catch up anytime in this coming weeks on another session on rise and shine so thank you so much for all of you to be a part of this. Yeah. Thank you so much for your session, uh, Jim. It You're is welcome. always helpful. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Bye.